Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to review this set of uh, 60 gouache colors by Atiza. So um, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so the first things uh, I had noticed was that there are 60 colors, 12 ml each. So here's a list of all the colors and their transparency, the pigments that have been used in the making of it and that light fastness so yeah there's a lot of information right on the cover and i guess you can check out there's some coupon codes given here so yeah oh. well uh there's an overwhelming number of colors in this box so before i start giving my opinions about this i want to try uh swatch all these colors first and then we can talk about this so, uh, so they have these little plates of six colors and there are around 10 of these right here. Um, I'm really excited to try these. I have never had a set that is this big, so I'm, I'm really, really excited to try this. Okay, and I really hope it, it turns out good for me. I really don't want to return all of these. All right, so let's let's start sw swatching these colors and see how they come out. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do this on a white paper as well as a black paper, and we'll see how it goes. There are 60 colors and if you always have a problem where um, you mix a color and mixing the same color twice can be a trouble so if you're facing such troubles it's it's nice to have so many colors and you can just pick a color right from the tube and start off one more thing i wanted to uh, mention was certain uh, artists they they use gouache for dip pen calligraphy and they use them on glass pens as well so i think you may have to keep your dip pens and glass pens away from this set of gouache because the pigments dry really quick like as they are on your palette they start drying in a while and it's really hard to work with those so i tried to dilute some of the pigment and try it with a glass pen but the pigment settles below and it starts drying and the water is on top i don't know how that works but yeah so you if you try and use your dip pens it may ruin your nibs so stay clear keep your dip pens out of these i think there are really good expensive professional artist grade gouache out there you can use them for your dip pens but not this set so i wanted to mention this just in case there are lots of complaints about the light fastness of Atiza's products. To be honest, I don't really care because mostly the kind of uh, work I do, I just take pictures and post them on Instagram. But if you are looking for some high quality paints to do for some kind of client work or it's going to be in an art gallery or in a museum and you, or else you're going to keep it for a really long time with you, so long time as in it would be like 15 plus years so i'm just gonna uh, do some paintings on your sketchbook and just leave it off i don't think light fastness is an issue at all and in the end don't forget to wash your brushes um if they tend now these paints tend to ruin your bristles if the paint is still on for a while you may have to soak it later and remove it gently so it's better to wash them off immediately after use so, so uh, to be honest, on the whites, all the colors look lovely. They have uh, an amazing finish to literally each and every color. I cannot really, really pick the, uh, any color that's disappointing me. So yeah, there are a couple of metallic colors in this set. And there are uh, really lovely pearl colors. And yeah, so... It's very pretty and I really love the choice of colors. You have around uh, four to five colors in each spectrum of uh, the color chart. So on the whole, it's very pretty. So I wanted to check first uh, 
if the colors match the color that's on the tube let's take olive green and this is the olive green that it turned out and you can see that the color on the label is a little darker than the swatched one so i would suggest you to uh, make swatches beforehand or probably paste them onto your tubes uh, so that you have an idea about the color that's in the tube and not on the label so during the swatching video if you look at it clearly um, the color was different when it was wet and when it dried it uh, some of the colors turned a little lighter and yeah the light colors were pretty much the same but the darker colors like uh, a 144 and that is yeah so a 144 it was uh, a purplish berry color when i started swatching it and then after it dried it turned out to be a dark wine plum color so yeah so there are certain color changes when they are wet and when they are dry and one more thing about <laughs> something that it was a little annoying because when i started swatching it i noticed that the colors were getting dried out really quickly and if i wanted to blend another color it's it was really difficult and when i try to blend it or add another uh, coat of it it tends to form a layer on top of the previous layer so it's like yeah i guess gouache as a medium is for layering different colors um so yeah that's a little different from watercolors for me because i usually prefer to, the color to stay wet for a longer time so that i can work around and blend but yeah that wasn't happening with me with these colors so yeah they always say that you can dilute this and it turns into watercolors but yeah later in this video we will try those too okay so i just wanted to take a closer look on these colors so here if you see um all the colors have a very smooth finish throughout um i just i used a uh, very minimal water so as a beginner you may have to um, take care of the water you add into your gouache and you shouldn't make it too watery it should be wet enough to glide through the paper uh, this is one color which i can see uh, my brush strokes and all those streaky lines here i'm pretty happy with the rest of the colors so again we're gonna see the yellow tones they look amazing there are a few neon colors like this one and also this a165 they look lovely the neons are also very pretty so if you're a fan of neons you may like these gouache colors i don't know if other brands provide you neon colors but yeah now let's move on to the black ones uh, the main reason i bought gouache was to work on black paper so yeah let's see the whites look good the whites look pretty good and it's i cannot say they are artist grade but for a beginner they are amazing and these two colors didn't really do it for me yes so uh, apparently these two are also metallic shades if you can actually see a light uh, met uh, metallic finish to it so um these two have so many streaks and i can see the black paper through it they are not opaque enough basically i don't find a use of metallic colors uh, because i use metallic watercolors and those work on black paper as well so i don't really find a need for this but yeah it's nice to have metallic shades too and the rest are really smooth and opaque in this section it's another metallic pink um yeah so it is pearl bubblegum it's a metallic pink shade and it didn't really do it for me somehow i noticed that the uh, metallic shades are slightly less pigmented than uh, these pearl shades so probably it's some additive they use or i don't know but yeah this is not really doing it for me and a165 as well i'm not a fan of neons but i tried a lot to reduce the streakiness on this but ah uh, there are so many lines so many lines and yeah not really doing it for me i'm happy with this metallic uh, lavender shade it's very pretty and it is completely opaque so this is one of the colors that really concerns me to be honest again i i had added the same amount of water 
in all the gouache sets but certain ones turned out more watery than the rest so they already had they were a little liquidy similar to watercolors and when i used this shade and this shade these three shades and these two so literally the entire colors in these spectrum kind of felt more like watercolor than gouache because it was more watery and i i really could not fix this i tried a lot i tried to layer it but it was still streaking and it wasn't layering on the previous layer so this section really disappointed me although i'm happy with the gold and this uh, red that's here this brown is amazing so pretty much yeah this section a little disappointed but i'd like to show you this on white and on white paper all these colors look amazing so it's it comes down to your preference if you majorly are gonna work with white papers you'll be happy with these colors but if you are working on black you may want to reconsider all right so the next set let's move to the yellow spectrum and here again the neons aren't doing so well on the black paper and this metallic gold isn't i guess this is a bronze yeah the bronze looks good but yeah the gold is again struggling really hard on the black paper and similarly the same problem with the a287 a292 so basically i am not so happy with how the metallic um, colors the metallic wash colors but yeah the rest of them again these yellows aren't doing for me but it's not a problem for me because i don't use these yellows anyway i'm i'm not really a fan of neons but these yellow tones are very pretty so yeah i will definitely be working with them and the greens are lovely okay please uh, ignore the metallic tones that come in between but the others the olive green the dark green the lush green the grass green all these all these and this is a pastel green it's amazing so uh, so on the whole uh, there there were a couple of colors that didn't really work well for me on the black paper basically it all comes down to preferences and uh, the colors you may choose and um, yeah so for me uh, since I do not use these yellows and I don't use the neon pinks and these pink tones and mainly I will be working with these pastel colors and pearlescent colors and those colors are really amazing so yeah so it's it's a good bargain for me because this entire set I got it on a Black Friday deal for 29 euros yeah so 29 euros comes down to 50 cents per tube and that I don't think you can ever find a gouache tube for 50 cents so absolutely recommended for a beginner and the other thing was the lighter colors they tend to be on the same but yeah the darker tones turn a little light but probably it's this this is how all gouache works i don't know i'm new to this this is my first time trying a gouache so uh, yeah and again there's a little transparency here and there so out of this 60 colors i am happy with 50 of these colors and maybe pretty much that is a four out of five rating for this set of paints so i feel very positive about all of these colors and i am waiting to try them out on uh, all of my work most of the time i do lettering so i want to see if i can use gouache on my letters so yeah, i'm adding a tiny bit of water to make it slightly watery let's try and blend these new colors it's a little different from the kind of watercolor medium i'm used to so it's i guess i'm struggling a little over here and now i want to blend them together pull it up all right so i don't know but i really don't feel they are blending smooth Okay, I did the best I could and let's continue. So what I'm doing here is though I'm giving it a thick coat of gouache color, I'm again kind of watering it and making it a little liquidy over here so that I can blend it with the next color. 
but yeah the color is not really moving into the previous color so I'm struggling a bit over there and okay so again with a clean brush and trying and going over it to get a smoother blend So I don't know, let me know in the comments what you guys think about the blending. Let's try a, a ribbon letter, so probably if you are not a fan of blending gouache, let's make ribbon letters with it, you don't have to blend anything around. It looks very pretty to be honest and I didn't really expect it to look so good um, after I think I think uh, I like the ribbon letters more it has a very nice uh, uh, definitive look when it comes to ribbon letters uh, here I don't know after the blends have dried they look I mean the blends look very streaky so yeah so if I think uh, it is always better to go with um, watercolors if you are blending yeah like i said add a lot of water into your gouache and make them watercolor let's try a diluted version of gouache so i'm gonna add lots of water in this and also in this so you can literally see uh, the amount of water here if you look at this they blend very very similar to watercolors and the blends are so smooth so let's do a layering test as well here i'm gonna use the uh, olive green and i'm doing a thick coat of it while this dries i just wanted to look at this once again um, to be honest even if you have diluted the color i mean you have diluted the gouache with lots of water um you cannot really get the color intensity you were getting with the gouache and you as you dilute it down to make it a watercolor you are also losing pigment and it turns out really pastely color so i don't think i can get the same color if i dilute it so probably if you want to make a gouache watercolor probably it's better to buy a watercolor so that you have the pigment um, the watercolors are pigmented so here by uh, gradually taking off the pigment we are getting watercolors i don't think um yeah it is worth it so yeah if you really like to work with watercolors buy a watercolor too and not really try to make gouache watercolor all right so i guess it has dried um so I'm gonna try and do a layering over it and see how it looks. So uh, you can see the color over a dark color and it didn't really uh, blend with the previous color and change into a different color. If you are going for work which needs a lot of layering, wash colors are the best to go for. I hope this video pretty much helped you make a decision if you want to go and buy these colors or uh, go for a different brand or probably stick to what colors or gouache so if you have those sort of confusions i hope this video helped you make certain decisions i had a tough time to decide if i'm going to use these but i really love the way these letters turned out and probably i'll be using uh, these colors in my upcoming posts on instagram so i really wanted to give you my honest opinion about these paints and also how i can work with these to 
have start lettering with them. So yeah, I'm pretty much happy with the way it turned out. So I will definitely recommend this product to all the beginners of gouache out there. And yeah, that's it from my end today. I hope you have a great and amazing day ahead. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.